Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by WebVidCuts. In this video, I'd like to just go ahead and give you guys some tips on possibly landing an internship as a developer, software developer, or even a web developer. So let us go ahead and begin. So, why would you want to do an internship? In the software world and the web development world, an internship is really very beneficial. Um, on here are just some of the few things that you get from doing an internship, such as gaining experience in the real world. You actually, since you get the experience, you get to actually see if that's something you do want to continue with as your career. Maybe in school it seemed really good, but once you actually started working, during that internship as a developer, maybe you didn't like it so much. Maybe it was a uh, good thing to actually do because then you could switch to something else that you might enjoy as your career. Uh, one of the really big things you get to have during the internship or after the internship is that you start to gain some connections in the industry. Uh, this actually, I actually did an internship last year and. Uh, Gaining the connections from that company that I worked at during my internship really helped me out. Um, because uh, two months ago, I actually had a position somewhere else, but then my old company came back and gave me a, a really good offer, and it was just really awesome to um, be able to have that connection with those people, and then they kind of want you to come back there. So it's really beneficial, not just while you have your internship and probably get paid pretty decently, I would assume, if it's a paid internship, but um, they could call you back, you know, and say, hey, we have this position ready for you, if we really want you to have it and stuff, before they even post it online, so I mean, that's one of the really big benefits you know, of actually having an internship, is that you, uh, you kind of get your foot in the door and you gain those connections. And last but not least, you just become more knowledgeable in the field, whichever um, languages and software they kind of use. Uh, that's really a big one because th th at school I learned quite a bit of stuff about programming and stuff, but at the internship you learned a lot more about the actual daily life of a software developer or a web developer, and you'd see the in and outs of how the whole workflow is during each day, and that's something that's really nice. And plus, you actually get to work on, I would assume, some way bigger applications than you've ever worked on before. Uh, so, those are definitely some of the great benefits of having an internship. I'd like to go ahead and kind of give you an insight of uh, the resources you can use to actually find an internship. Um, on the screen right here uh, are some of the resources that I've used when I was finding an internship. And actually, when I was looking for mine, I filled out quite a few applications and I only received one callback, and that's the one that I interned with, so that was pretty cool. So on the first bullet point, you have Indeed, Career Builder, and Monster. On these sites, you can actually post your resume, and basically you'll be receiving a lot of calls from uh, the different recruiters that are in the area. And it's a decent way to find some things. Uh, you also see a lot of um, job postings on there, but I've never really had one call me back. So, Indeed is pretty decent because it actually like, goes through a lot of different job postings, but um, yeah, I would probably stay away from Career Builder and Monster if, uh, if they aren't working out for you. The way I actually um, found my internship was going on Google Maps around my area, actually just looking at every company that was in my area. Luckily, the company was within like four or five miles of where I lived, so I came across their application, filled it out, and I was good to go. And that's another thing, too, I wanted to mention on uh, careerbuilderandmonster.com. It's somewhat rare that you would see an internship on there. Uh, mainly they are for you know, mid-level or senior developer and some junior developers, but I really didn't see any internships on there. Indeed, I did see some if you put in internship, but uh, they're pretty much few and far between on those websites. So Google Maps is something that's really nice because you can just go to straight to that company's website and then you can see all the positions that they're 
wanting to fill. And luckily in my case, they had an internship, and so I went with that company. And then another one is to talk with recruiters. Um, usually they'll want to, in my experience, they usually want to actually like hire junior, mid-level, and up. Um, so you may be able to find one that will do an internship, find an internship for you as well, but um, I'm not entirely sure how they work on that. But it's just another option that you have. And one more option is to um, take advantage of your college resources if you go to college. Um, this, of course, may not benefit you as well if you've already graduated or you don't plan on going to college, which um, I do recommend. Uh, it's not always necessary, but uh, it'll definitely help you a little bit. But take advantage of your college resources if you have any available to you, such as a, um, I had like an internship coordinator. Uh, it had a different title, but something like that. But um, they might have some connections that can benefit you and get you in the door somewhere. So take advantage of those where you can. And one more place that I recommend always having a profile on is LinkedIn. Um, not only do they have some positions on there listed from the different companies, but also it's where you can keep all your connections, talk with them once in a while or something, see how they're doing. Or if you're looking for a job that maybe one of your other connections got, say, hey, man, why don't you, uh, you know, toss my name out? Okay. You know, it's just a great way to um, stay in touch with your um, past coworkers and um, to see how everyone's doing. And also, you can use it to your own benefit. So, uh, get a job once in a while if you're looking for one. But yeah, those are the resources um, that I believe would best help out anyone that's looking for an internship. So let's go over some of the things that'll help you actually stand out during when you're interviewing or even looking for an interview for an internship. I think one of the best things that you could have and one of the things that really helped me um, is actually having a portfolio website showing pretty much everything that you've done. Um, if you don't have a portfolio website, I would highly recommend making one. Um, even just putting like some of your academic assignments on there. Hey, I build tic-tac-toe and C++ in this one class for a final project. Even just stuff like that. Just kind of show your works. And, uh, even post some code in there if you want. Show them how you think. Show them that you have a good grasp on C++ or C Sharp, Java, anything. Just post anything on there. Uh, just make it look... You don't even have to make it look kind of neat, but I mean, the better looking it is, <laughs> the the more kind of attractive it is to the employer. So just put something out there, you know. If you don't have anything out there, then it's kind of like, okay, well, this guy can, or girl can talk. Pretty good about programming and stuff and developing, but, you know, I haven't really seen anything about him. So a portfolio is just a great way to show your works, show what you can do. Um, another thing that I believe could help you a bit out is to actually research uh, some information on some source control software. Uh, such as Team Foundation Server, Git, um, Subversion is another one, because they're probably going to be using one of these at the company. At the company I actually interned at, it, they used Team Foundation Server, which was actually, uh, I do like the Team Foundation Server a lot. Um, I do like Git, maybe Subversion a little bit, but not really much. But just, uh, especially if you have an interview and you know the company's using one of these, uh, research a little bit on it, so yeah, I'm kind of familiar with it a little bit. It's basically just keeping everything in the source control. You get to have like you can put branches and stuff. Um, if you throw some terms out there during the interview, whatever, they might be a little bit impressed on that because I actually didn't learn anything about source control in college, so it might be beneficial to you. But another thing that I believe would help someone is get to get familiar with Agile, which is a software development methodology. It's kind of like a process of workflow, pretty much. Um, just kind of touch upon that a little bit and stuff. Um, I didn't really learn a whole lot about Agile in college, but um, it's something that a lot of IT teams and software development teams are using nowadays. There's also one called like Waterfall, and there's there's some others that I really don't know about much, but Agile seems to be catching on pretty quickly nowadays. And if you throw some terms out a little bit that you know a little bit about Agile and stuff, then I think it might give you a slight advantage in the interviewing process. 
and one thing I definitely recommend is to master your basics. Okay, um, you don't, they don't really they're not going to expect you to learn to know all kinds of things about programming. If you're from an associate's degree or whatever, like I, I actually just have an associate's degree. Um, they're not going to expect you to really you know know C++ in and out. Oh, I can build compilers with C++. I'm so good or something. They're, they're not going to expect that. I think the only questions I got were like, what is inheritance? Um, I can't really remember the other ones, but it was just pretty basic stuff like that. Just a little bit about classes. It, they'll ask you probably a lot of, of uh, questions about like classes and object oriented programming. So it's kind of master that a little bit. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Don't, you know, don't be so nervous during the interview. They're going to ask me, Oh, how, what's some crazy question or something or what's a, uh, show us how to build a binary search tree or something. No, they're not going to ask you. They're just going to ask you some, a few questions. So don't worry about that. But just master your basics. And another thing that could probably help you out is just to work on some open source projects. I have actually never worked on really an open source project. I just kind of work on my own projects a lot. But it's something that would definitely be a big plus during the interview process. So, oh, I... On GitHub, I worked on this project and added this feature to this software or something. That's kind of that would probably kind of get you some bonus points on there. Okay. And so here are some just some extra tips. Um, so the first one, even if an internship position on the job requirements it says they want a bachelor's degree or someone pursuing a bachelor's degree. Even if you're just pursuing an associate's degree, I would just go ahead and apply for it. That's actually how I ended up with my internship. They were actually working for a bachelor's degree um, student or someone were pursuing a bachelor's degree. I was just pursuing an associate's degree. I applied for it anyways. And, well, here I am today uh, as a junior developer at that company. So even if it says that, you know, if we're looking for a student pursuing a bachelor's degree, you know, apply for it. You never know what might happen. Even if you're not pursuing any degree, apply for it. You never know what might happen. Because usually it's HR that comes up with those job requirements, and once they find someone, they'd probably um, contact the IT team or whatever and just that stuff. Just our bunch of HR stuff. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, apply for it. And if you see one, don't be scared. And... Another thing on that sort of line, um, the job requirements is, you know, we use C-sharp and you've been doing Java or C++ like I was doing in college. You know, apply for it anyways. The internship's about, you know, learning more, you know, progressing yourself a little bit into your career and starting your career, you know. Um, having more languages under your belt, you know, it's only going to help you out and, uh, you know, start your career on that. It's not going to be a big burden, or it shouldn't be a big burden to you. You know, Keep your mind open on these languages and stuff. Um, just like I said, I was uh, learning C++ and Java and some other web development stuff in college. And my internship was actually for C Sharp and .NET and ASP.NET. Okay. I never really knew those. I haven't really touched upon those uh, before I started my internship, but now I really prefer programming in C-sharp and uh, doing ASP.NET websites. So, you know, you might actually find a new language that you, you know, kind of kind of starting to enjoy programming with, so. And so the last two are just kind of like tips for if you do land your first internship or your first developer position. Um, just ask a lot of questions during your internship. And really, do not ever feel bad for not knowing something. You're coming in there, and you have you have probably the other team members, which probably have five or plus years of experience or something. So, you know, they're kind of like a um, source of knowledge in the field. So, you know, ask questions. They're not going to shun you, or they shouldn't shun you for asking a lot of questions. So, just ask as many questions as you can. And say, hey, man. Do you like working in this industry? Or, hey, how does this work? How does this system work? Or, what's what, what do you recommend for this or something? Just ask a lot of questions. You know, source of information. Just try to tap into that as much as you can. And just 
And also, just during the internship, learn as much as you can, write down as many notes as you can, and just, you know, kind of be a sponge for all of the knowledge that you can get from that. So, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you learned just a little bit of information about looking for an internship, or even, you know, your first developer internship, or not internship, developer position. I can't talk today. But, um, yeah, just don't be nervous, just, you know... You know, uh, take advantage of the resources you have and just kind of kind of go with it but I do recommend getting an internship if, especially if you want to put your foot in the door for the career field and uh, yep yeah. right. so I might make another video on some more tips or whatever but um, I appreciate you guys watching I hope you have a great day goodbye